Well, how y'all making, folks? It is hot. 80 degrees in February and humid as I don't know what. I'm over here at the property where me and Dean came and uh, shot them wabbits. This time I'm actually gonna go fill the feeder up with corn so that uh, we can get them pigs starting to come around because I'm hoping to get a pig uh, this year. And I gotta go put some straps on that uh, deer stand that we didn't do last time because uh, we was just too worn out. But I am gonna go squirrel and rabbit hunting today. I brought my shotgun. Gonna try and get some of them varmints and uh, I'm gonna be out here alone so you know I'm uh, packing that heat in case we come across a pig or Sasquatch or Rougarou or something. But um, anyway, I brought two bags of corn but I think I'm only gonna I'm only gonna take that one bag because it's a little ways back there, and I, that uh, it gets a little heavy. And since I'm already heavy and out of shape, I don't think I, you know, feel like lugging that back there and wear myself out before we can even go hunting. So, so anyway. We made it so that was a heck of a walk it's pretty good trails through there though so them pigs or deer or whatever it is they're they're trekking on through but uh all right so now i'm gonna throw some corn in that and that feeder change the batteries make sure the timer's working correctly and then i gotta get up in this slightly used deer stand and uh change out them straps so we don't fall to our death next time we try and hunt in it but, Alright guys, here goes nothing. Gotta climb this, this old stand here. Hopefully these straps will hold us. This is where we could die. But luckily I have y'all along with me. Just in case if something bad happens, y'all can call for help, right? Right. Now there is one way to do this for certain where we'll be safe, but I need y'all's help. All you gotta do to help is just reach on down there below the screen and hit that subscribe button and very much guarantee my safety. Maybe. Seems to be pretty sturdy still. You know, telling what we got up here. Good thing we're packing. Good thing we're packing that heat and got that machete in case, you know, bears or ninjas come jumping out the trees. Now uh, oh, there used to be a pad on this seat. Ain't there no more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If I don't make it, tell my wife I love her. Well, now that I'm half soaked from sweat and fully exhausted, it's uh, starting to rain. I'll be a suck egg mule. Well, that ain't gonna stop us. We're gonna go to go try and find us a squirrel with some rabbits or something to shoot at but i saw a squirrel on the way in so they are running around or at least he was maybe he's just dumb but it's raining now so i don't know uh you know i don't know what squirrels do in the rain they might come out we might see some but we're gonna go trek on through and uh you know see if yeah all right well we just jumped on y'all oh that boy took off too crap he scared me come running out of there my heart is pounding you just never know where them suckers is hiding. We end up going, we're going to get it up snake bit. We're going to end up getting snake bit, y'all. Now, if you don't want me to get bit by a snake, you can help me out by hitting that like button. Come on, do it now. Hit that like button. That'll help me not get bit by a snake. Oh, great. The sun's coming out. Now it's getting really hot. 
Oh, I see him. All right, he took off again. Just, it's just so thick. By the time I see him, he's gone. This might be a little thicker than we bargained for, gentlemen. Well, that's a little too thick. I think I'm gonna, uh, you know, kind of mosey on around that because uh, that sucker's in here somewhere. Look at this. I mean, if there ain't a rabbit in there, ain't no rabbit. Ow, ow, ow. Sticker bushes suck. All right, I just seen a rabbit in this bush. So I'm not gonna kick the bush. I'm just gonna try and wait till I can see him. If he takes off, I am not gonna be able to find him in all of that mess. Well, maybe I might have a shot if I go right through this middle. I don't know. I guess we're gonna try it. Oh, there he is. Cut him off. Cut him off at the pass. If he takes off through them woods, I'll be able to see him. I just don't know which way he went. Well, crap. We ain't doing so hot, are we, fellas? Man, I gotta get quicker when I see these things. Man. Freaking rabbit Houdini. I just don't get it, folks. You know, I got a pants full of stickers, though. That sucks. All right, fellas, I just seen some doves. Oh, wait, it's February. Let me make sure. Well, good thing I checked. Dove season ended at the end of January. Always double check. Keeping it legal, keeping it legal. Well, I can only assume we have one up in this mess. Whew, but I guess we best get to stepping. Oh, we got a shot off, but I don't think we hit him. Look at all those doves I can't shoot. Mid just in our day, I guess. Dag nabbit. All right. Well, once again, I see a rabbit in a hole. I don't know if you can see that dark hole right in front of me. I just see him pass it. But this brush pile is so huge. Look at this thing. The only way I'm going to get him is if I can see him without him running off. I don't know how to do that. Because obviously, I failed at it every attempt thus far. Now this is when a hunting buddy would come into play because I could walk on this side, make him walk on the other side, and uh, you know, one of us could run it to the other, but it's not gonna happen. I'm gonna end up walking right here, he's gonna run that way, and I ain't even gonna see him. And if I see him, I ain't even gonna get to shoot at him. And if I shoot at him, I'm just gonna miss him. I think he might have took off. I don't know. I heard something, but I didn't see it. Well, I done stopped here to take a little break. It's been about 11 and a half quarter minutes or so. So I'm about to get back up and head on back to the Jeep. Missing all them rabbits made me a little tired. Drank a bottle of water, got rehydrated. We'll start heading back and, uh, you know, see if we can't miss some more. Holy crap, fellas. I think I did hit that rabbit earlier. Well, I'll be back gone. Look at that. Well, I'll be. <laughs> what do you know? I can't believe it. That is crazy. I thought for sure I missed him. Good thing I came this way. I'd have missed him. Huh. Well, me look at that. We got us a rabbit. Oh, that makes me feel a whole lot better though, yeah. I thought for sure we missed him, but. Well, I'm glad I decided to come this way. Man, I'm sorry to look quick. Don't, don't get enough time to shoot. Crap. Man, them things are quick. Alright, well, I 
decided to come climb up the old tree stand and just give it a sit for a little while. You know, maybe a rabbit will come bozy on out or some squirrels might start moving. Sitting in a deer stand can be dangerous, but not so much from falling. Just the time you have to think, the things that go through your mind. Why is the sky blue? Do squirrels have cousins? If I dropped a shotgun shell from up here, would it go off? I bet you I could climb that tree and hop over to the next one without hurting myself. I wonder if I can jump down from here and tuck and roll. But what if I actually did divide by zero? Well, as you may have, might have noticed, I'm wearing a different hat, different shirt, because it's the next day. I figured since, you know, there wasn't a whole lot of shooting, we just got that one rabbit and, uh, you know, I've seen a bunch of them take off and never had the chance to shoot them. I figured I'd just go ahead and make what YouTube likes to call a catch clean cook, except you ain't gonna get to see the cleaning part because YouTube's not too fond of that. So I already got the rabbit cleaned up last night when I got home. So today I just uh, mixed some two tablespoons of kosher salt in with some water and uh, soaked the rabbit in there for about an hour, maybe an hour and a half because uh, that's what the recipe called for. Yeah, about to season this thing up. It's got my little wood pellets uh, lighting up. And we got the smoker. Well, wow. The lights are dancing on the camera. It's not doing that. Not doing that off camera, but it's dancing on camera. But anyway, I don't know. But we got it set for 200 degrees. So I'm gonna get inside and mix up the season and season up that rabbit. So let's go. Right, so what you're gonna wanna do is after you pull him out the brine, you're gonna slap him down on this uh, piece of aluminum foil like this. And then I'm gonna pat him dry so that the seasoning will stick to the meat. Just like that. Dry them off a little bit, a little dab will do you. Now the rub we're gonna make, one tablespoon of garlic powder. We'll get some cayenne pepper, one tablespoon. One tablespoon of coarse ground black pepper. One tablespoon of kosher salt. We're going to mix it all up. We're going to take our rub that we just made and I sprinkle it on them like a buttload of pixie dust. And after you've done all that, I take my little water dish thing here that you're supposed to stick down in the bottom of the smoker so it don't get dried out or something. I don't know. I am not a professional. And I'm going to take this uh, leftover, take this leftover season in here and just dump it in that water dish. Just because it makes me feel better. I don't really know if that does anything or not, but uh, yeah. Now we're just going to go throw this thing on a rack and slap it on in the smoker. Now you're gonna take you some barbecue sauce. Mmm. And slap it on in a dish. Mmm. Woo! -hoo. So you're gonna wanna let that uh, rabbit sit in that smoker for 15 minutes when you first put it in. And every 15 minutes after that, you're gonna wanna bathe it in some yummy barbecue sauce. And then every 15 minutes after that, for two hours, you're gonna wanna put a little dab of do your barbecue sauce on it until it is done. Now keep in mind folks, this is my first time trying this uh, recipe. I usually just smother my rabbits and bell peppers, onions and garlic and liquid smoke and what's this here sauce, but I'm always willing to try new things. So I'm gonna try it first so you don't have to and I'll let you know if it's good or not. All right y'all, the first 15 minutes done passed. There it is right there. We're gonna open this thing up. See what that look like. Woo, boy. Man, that's smoky. Well, I think what we're gonna do, y'all, instead of dabbing that whole thing, we're just gonna do, just gonna do this, this top side, I think. See what the difference is, whether we put the barbecue sauce on it or not barbecue sauce on it, see if it got some better, different flavors. We're just gonna put it up here on the top and not on the bottom, mostly, mostly because I just don't feel like turning it over because I only got one hand holding the camera and the smoke is burning my eyes. So yeah, there you go. That ought to be good for now. Well, all right, y'all, we have reached that two hour mark. Let's see what this old bunny rabbit look like. Woo! 
Mm. Mm. Got a lens all frogged up. Oh man, that looks delicious. <laughs> All right, well, I gotta bring old Breezy Boy to the vet, so what I'm gonna do is just slap this here bunny on a, that old metallic paper like so. And I'm gonna wrap him up, let him cool very slow like in the oven. I'm not turning the oven on, I'm just gonna let him cool in that oven until I return, and then we gonna do a little taste testing. Well, I'm back. All right, let's get this thing out the oven and see what it tastes like. Got it all wrapped up in a towel. Still warm. Mm, mm, mm. All right, now we got a couple pieces cut. First piece is gonna be the one with the barbecue sauce. Let's see how that tastes. Oh, oh my. Mm. Oh my goodness. Dude, that is delicious. Holy cow, I've been doing it all wrong. Now the piece without the barbecue sauce. Mm, that's just as good. I may never smother a rabbit again. That is awesome. Babe, that's awesome. That's great, babe. All right, let's see what the boys think. Tinka, you want a piece of rabbit? Oh my goodness. Yeah, he likes that rabbit, breezy boy. Nom, 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 nom. They, they pretty much eat anything now. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you want to be notified of my uploads, when I upload, just put your cursor over that notification bell and click. Mm -hmm.